Welcome to the Chill Zone. Help us celebrate you. On the Chill Zone. If you're actually just joining us, this is The Chill Zone. My name is Danny Constant right here with Maria McCauley. And today on The Chill Zone, we have no other but the one and only, the voice of all voices, the lady that controls the stages around the country. One that has been able to outstage other women in terms of talking and representing. Ladies and gentlemen, please. She's an actress, she's an activist, she's a journalist. Joining us this <laughs> afternoon to Gist and Ginger. Like we always do myself and I was like, I was like, baby girl, I have Gist. She's like, how far? <laughs> Fantasy says with us this afternoon, what's up, girl? <laughs> Um, Good to have you on the chill zone for the man. first time, Fanta. Right? Mm-hmm. I already know this is going to be... It's going to be Gaga, though. Yes. <laughs> an exciting show. And having you on the platform to celebrate you and yeah, to celebrate man. the work that you do as well as a young woman. Welcome on the chill zone. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. That always manages to, well, to, welcome to, to the chill make zone. his We've introductions... Yeah, you have you flattering, yeah, yeah, awkward, yeah. and <laughs> so, see, tight, that, all in one. That's the way. That's the way. Um, no, you, but that's that's true. That's, I mean, that's why we call it the chill Sometimes zone. Sometimes we're just too humble yeah. to blow it like that. That is true. Yeah. You know, Mariama is amazing at that. Mm-hmm. Like, she would not do. This is the thing. <laughs> Mariama would not blow her own trumpet. But mm-hmm. if she's telling, she's like, yes, you're all that. <laughs> like, you, like, you give it. I'm just like, sis, but can you do it for yourself too? <laughs> You know, that's that. Thank you guys. Thank you for having me. It's so nice to be a guest here. I this know. is so weird. I know. I, mean, I know, right? Like, I'm, I'm, like, I guess yes. on your own platform. Okay. That's so weird. <laughs> I, remember, I remember the day. I remember the day Ronald came on the show mm-hmm. and he was like, "Yo, so wait, what? It's like, what are we going to talk about?" I was like, "Don't worry. There's always there's there's always there, a uh, there's, there's there's a lot to talk about. Mm-hmm. There's always to just about and and people actually missed you. And I feel mm-hmm. to some extent also people really want to know Fanta." Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, I know Fantasy Say is the brand name, mm-hmm. and equally, at home you are known as Baby Girl. Wow. But why Spill is that? But, 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 but why is it? Why is it? Why is it so? Um. Do you, wait. Do you feel some kind of way still being called Baby Girl? I don't really. Why? Because um, I've uh, like my my little um nieces and nephews mm-hmm. like it's in them now to call mm-hmm. me Auntie Fanta mm-hmm. and that was my biggest thing it's like to be to be like a full-fledged woman mm-hmm. and have my little nieces and nephews be like ah Auntie Baby it's, it's like oh, Auntie Baby Girl it's cute <laughs> <laughs> you know it's cute but yes. I'd rather have my full name so mm-hmm. I've changed that so now yeah. it's not like Auntie Baby Girl anymore it's when they come Auntie Fanta mm-hmm. and, you know Yeah. so I think that was my only thing because mm-hmm. you don't want to be an old woman and have Grandma, yeah. baby girl. <laughs> I have a, no, wait, I have wait. a cousin like that, mm-hmm. baby Yasin. You know, she has two babies. Like she's a mother now. She's a wife, and still everybody's calling Call her, her baby. baby exactly. I'm like, I'm not calling you baby. You're not a baby anymore. Anymore. But do you have aside from that? Do you have any nickname? Um. Perfect Porsche. Perfect. Oh, let's <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah. Porsche. Perfect Porsche. Yes. I think these are the only ones. It's baby girl. Mm-hmm. Um, which my mom gave me, which is so weird because I'm not her favorite child. It's like. Pfft. <laughs> why, would, why, why, why would you say that? Um, and you are not the last. I'm not the last. Young. I'm mm-hmm. the middle. Oh. We're not even loved by anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the middle child. I'm the middle child. There's um, tough love. There's it tough it love. is. Yeah. It is. Uh, but then that's one good thing, though, is that we're always mostly the most matured one mm-hmm. out of all. So I'm grateful because I know I'm quite mature for True. my age. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, speaking of maturity, I mean, you've, you've gone through a lot yes. um, from kids to uh, inside mm-hmm. to uh, I mean to to current to work to working with the Afrisol for mm-hmm. the longest I mean over five years mm-hmm. and um, I mean you are you are in the center of showbiz in in mm-hmm. Gambia now mm-hmm. your family and your family basically and personal life uh-huh. now which one exactly would you say has been like your pillar my family yeah so family and work life which one has really gotten you to where you are. I think it's both. Okay. Because, you know, you can be really steadfast in your job and what you do, but if you don't have the right support at home, mm-hmm. it, it can really derail you and, and, and you know, take you off what's important. Mm-hmm. So I think it's both. Um, again, my mom. Okay. Um, I'm not her favorite, 
but we can Stop okay okay now, you, this, 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 is second, this is the second time you're saying you're not okay with no, it. Yes. like no it's not, it's not even a bad thing mm-hmm. i don't know how to explain it it's like i keep telling on people it's like when people compliment me on my looks mm-hmm. And I, I hit them with, yeah, but in my life, I never considered myself beautiful. Mm. It's not a bad thing. It's not like I, it's pitiful or it's sad. It's mm. something I understood. Like, you know, when you understand something, you, it, it doesn't hurt you anymore. You're not mm. affected by it when mm. you know and you're okay with it. So it's kind of like that. Like, I know. I know that I'm not her favorite, but I understand. It doesn't mean she loves me any less. Yeah. It just means, eh. You know what I mean? Ooh. You're not just getting all exactly. that. That's the thing about exactly. that, you know? Exactly. You don't have to get my attention. Just let me give it attention to, to your other like sibling or the older okay. one. Well, hello. I know I'm not, you know. You know. But you know, mothers, mothers are like that. Okay. No, no. Maybe I don't have that, that, that issue with my mom because I'm her only child. Mm-hmm. You know, so I don't see, see how for you, she's... It's different. You're everything. You're the beginning, the end, and the <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. maybe with you, it's because they already saw the strength in you. They know you can take care of yourself, that mm-hmm. you're bold, you're outgoing, you're that, you're this. I so they, they might not give you all that attention. They might give it to someone else who needs it more. True. And, yeah, you guess. know, though they will still do their part, give that lovey-lovey and do all of that. But don't ex- expect all the <laughs> the good yeah, thingy to come, to come to your come way tune. but throughout your journey i mean i i keep telling people in every good story there comes challenges because mm-hmm. that's what makes us who we are that's mm-hmm. what gets us as mm-hmm. far as we have come mm-hmm. in our careers or in our personal life and mm-hmm. our personal growth what has been the most challenging part of your growth um <coughs> I think um, finding myself mm-hmm. and you know it, you find yourself you know yourself but you don't stop mm-hmm. you keep growing you keep evolving and you keep trying to figure out what's the next thing what am I doing again mm-hmm. am I for me the most challenge is myself it's like um, is this it you know when you when you start to question yourself what is my next thing what am I going to do again right. like I feel like I've done radio I've done hosting I've, I do acting it's not what I want it to be so what is the next thing so for me it's always a, an internal battle mm-hmm. it's like am I growing am I stagnant what am I doing like these are things I battle with mm-hmm. and before it wasn't something I was easy like it was something I could e- express and mm-hmm. not be afraid but now mm-hmm. it's like I'm not afraid because in failure comes triumph True. Yeah. you know what I mean so I'm okay with that but I'm still questioning like what is the next what am i going to do have i done enough what's the next thing will i get that break would you know you know what i mean is there more i can do that's 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 no, my, but, but but this things is this, is it, especially the way you feel is that is that have you ever expressed it outward i mean have you mentioned it to someone how you feel especially this way like probably in terms of is this enough could i get more could that be more could they be could, you know could, could there be more yeah. be more for me that sort um, of way see that's the thing i'm not that even my friends complain i'm not the one that's very open about my feelings mm-hmm. you know i'm not i'm not the one that's like okay see, let me tell you what happened you know i'm not that mm-hmm. it takes a lot for me to sit down and talk to someone and if i talk to someone it means i really trust you i see something in you that i know you know what if i share this with mariama she'll give me the real mm-hmm. and this will be between us mm-hmm. to kind of, i'm like that even if mariama told me i changed my phone and i don't want anyone to know i don't expect it to be out mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's how i'm wired mm-hmm. but yes i have i've shared a little bit with you yes and i've shared a little bit with you to yeah. a certain extent mm-hmm. so so, and you guys are both my friends and colleagues mm-hmm. and you know I feel like in a way we all face the same thing but we all have we all deal with it differently True. and I have shared it with the, uh, my other friends who are mm-hmm. outside of the business mm-hmm. and you know it's always like yeah well maybe you could try this you could try this but the way I'm wired is like if I don't feel like if it doesn't stir anything in my brain mm-hmm. I, I might not I might never do it how are you with friends um i know you're you're very you're a bubbly person oh, yeah. you're outgoing <laughs> um you're very Full expressive life, very I expressive am. as well I, yeah, I mean your your fans are all like oh my god fantasy <laughs> building shout outs to to hussein um shout outs to everyone that's actually watching at this particular point yep. uh, but yes in in terms of friends mm-hmm. um what exactly are you like you know i mean who exactly would you say right now is like oh yeah you know takes the top of the list of all my friends yes see that's the thing um, <laughs> that's the thing I could never tell you this is the this is the top one mm-hmm. do you know what I mean because every friend plays, plays a role in my life right um if you 
But if I want sophisticated ratchet advice, mm. I know where to go. Okay. If I want um soulful conversation, not that all, all my friends are create that atmosphere for me mm-hmm. because I pick people based on how they react and how they deal with situations in life. Mm-hmm. And so if I ch- if I speak to Mariama or if Mariama and I are talking, it's because Mariama is a very private person mm-hmm. and I know um, Mariama would give me counsel right. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like I know Mariama would not lead me astray mm-hmm. if I felt lost. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's say I have a friend, Ismaila. Right. Ismaila's my friend, he's a lawyer. Mm-hmm. Ismaila's a Capricorn. And we're very similar. <laughs> we're very similar in the way we think and the way we feel. So sometimes when I'm second guessing some decisions, mm-hmm. I'm like, you know what, let me, let me ask him. Okay. You know, he's more like me. So if it makes sense, he'll probably tell me. Right. And then I'll talk to him about that. And as you know, everyone mm-hmm. knows Jackie. Yes. It's like when I want to know, Jackie, is, she'll hit you with the truth when she's in her. In her zone, right. she hits you with the hard truth. Like, True. Like, no, I don't she, care. That's what yeah, I mean. It, it yeah. comes that's out. It comes out. You know out. what I mean? Just yes. say it as it yeah. is. <laughs> and sometimes you need that. Mm-hmm. Yamunda, who's like one of my longest friends from right. for like 17 years now. Shout out to Yamunda. Um, Yamunda has known me from the time I was 15 mm. to now. So she she's seen my growth. Mm-hmm. So sometimes when I really want to ask her, like, what do you think of this from the past three, four years to now? That's her. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you, you've known me. So this is this is this is it. My every That's friend. That's interesting. So so, so she so so she has so she has friends for every mood yeah, and but, every. But you have <laughs> never like sat down with all of these people to ask them specific solutions to a problem at the same time. No. 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 They, they, they can't be at the same time at, at the same place. I at mean, the same I time. see people do that when yeah, they have a group time. of friends. They all sit down and just share their problems together. And no, they, f- they feel like they just want to hear what everybody has to say. I would, I would talk to everyone mm-hmm. separately, 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 right. because my friends are very different. I know, you know, mm. <laughs> all of like everyone. <laughs> I have extroverts, introverts, mm-hmm. outgoing ones, mm. and I play both parts. Sometimes I can be a very, very introverted person, and mm. my friends will come like, "What's wrong? I've not heard." from you it's just me i need to hibernate mm. i need to regroup mm. and then i'm back out again so i have different different friends for different things mm-hmm. and i think that's very healthy okay. it is you know but then um you've picked up um a career path that is you know not very common in our society mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you've been a model for the mm-hmm. longest time and they brushed in their face you've been an actress mm-hmm. you work within the media mm-hmm. now we're working with a gsm company on mm-hmm. the commercial side you mm-hmm. know doing all those commercials mm-hmm. tv radio mm-hmm. and all of that um what has really been one of those comments that has really blown you out of your comfort zone when it comes to your work? Because now we see a lot of young ladies, young mm-hmm. women who wants to be in these positions, uh-huh. but they don't understand the challenges we face. No. They don't understand what it takes. Mm-hmm. They don't understand how they need to really mold Carry themselves, themselves. Uh-huh. to grow within these industries without mm-hmm. being, you know, victimized labeled. or being labeled or how to deal with certain criticisms. Mm-hmm. How have you dealt with yours? Um, so it goes back to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we gonna be shout outs to mommy though. Yeah, you are, I see. No, you I are. love my mom. <laughs> of course, I had that. Yeah, I, I yeah. feel like I had the toughest childhood, mm-hmm. but now I'm appreciative of that. Mm-hmm. Right. So, like I say, it goes back to because so if I'll, I start telling you the things my m- embarrassing stuff my mom has done to me, oh, you yeah. mean I, 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 exactly. I, I feel we all I'll have our I'll go to Lenehan. I'll go to Lenehan or CA programs, and I'll find her standing outside waiting for me, and all my friends will start like, like ah, <laughs> <laughs> She's coming to pick you up. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, you know. yeah. Yeah. So your mom. Um. So growing up, I was a very, believe it or not, I was a very timid child. I was very shy. Mm-hmm. Very. That's why I said I'm introverted and extroverted at the same time. Um, I was always by myself because um, as a toddler, uh, we moved back because we were in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's where I was born. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So we moved back and my mom left me with my grandmother, who was my namesake. So I grew up with her. I didn't really have a rapport with my mom. So I, I've always been like, my grandmother was like my mom and everything. Mm-hmm. So I was cool with her. Like I could say whatever I wanted to say mm-hmm. to her. On the flip side, me and my mom were not really, because obviously I, you've not been around for like four or five years. So wait, do you resent her for that? No. Okay. No, I don't. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, great, you missed out on my, you know, early childhood. Mm-hmm. Fine, whatever. Mm-hmm. 
Like we talked about it, of course, because I'm a talker. I would talk right. about stuff right. like that, mm -hmm. and we're fine. Now, that's why I can talk about it before I couldn't speak about it. Mm -hmm. But the point I'm trying to make is this: as a child, I was very timid growing up. I was shy. I was by myself because I didn't really have that mm -hmm. with my mom. So I was an I, I've always been a loner in some way. Yeah. Um, growing up, I went through something very traumatic, and I realized that if I didn't stand up for myself fine everyone will come around when something has already happened mm. not in the midst of it mm -hmm. and in the midst of it you don't have anyone but yourself yeah. so i learned that at a very very early age and that has always been my shield mm. so people come into the media i remember when i started modeling at 16 and 17 we went for the elite model look we did a lot and my own cousin who didn't even grow up here who left here at 17 and came back when he was well in his 30s looked at me and asked me what I really wanted to do and I started explaining he looked at me and said yo that's so big I don't even want that for you mm. and I looked at that him words. I mean your own because I made a yes. yeah mm -hmm. my own cousin yeah because I said listen I want to be as big of an actress as Angelina Jolie and he looked at me and said what? that's so big I don't want that for you now would you would you say family especially <clears throat> in Africa would you say family is kind of our um, it's kind of our problem I wouldn't really say detriment but they do they kind of down because that same some cousin of our said to me equally. when I started modeling that like, yeah, you know models are looked at as prostitutes mm. Whoa. imagine to an 18 year old girl mm. and I was just like what the hell That's you know sad. but then to him he probably didn't mean it no. in a bad way mm. to him he was just saying what he felt and what he thought mm. or what he's seen because I didn't see that I've not mm. seen that still so I didn't take it to heart. I just knew that, you know what? I don't know how much, how long it's going to take. I don't know whether I'll be in my, well in my 40s or 30s. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But you're going to see me on TV. Gonna you're going to see me on blockbuster movies. True. And yes. you're going to be the same person that will say, you know what? Mm -hmm. I said this about her and here she is. Today. True. Mm -hmm. True. So that's to me, like whatever people say doesn't really, mm -hmm. it doesn't hurt me mm -hmm. like that. I just take it in stride. Like, you know what? I'm from an extended family. My dad has four wives. Whoa. Trust me, I've been through I a know, lot. Right? <laughs> so all you little computer people are like, you can't, you can't yeah, affect me. It doesn't really, it doesn't you really, get what I mean? Really like, of course I'm human. Sometimes yeah. in my down moments, it will hurt me mm -hmm. if I read something, but it's not going to pin me down. So I'm right. not going to go hustle for what mm -hmm. I, I know I deserve. Exactly. Okay. Out, of, out of your, out of the work that you do in terms of um, communications mm -hmm. and, and art and creatives mm -hmm. and creative art, which, which one exactly would you feel at this particular point is really your comfort zone per se you know what the one i don't do the most mm -hmm. is the one that I'm you feel like yeah this acting. is, is it, yes oh acting <laughs> it's, it's a way to just forget mm -hmm. if i tell you i am i talk to myself mm -hmm. every single day every mm -hmm. chance i get my earlier on before my sister caught on she would always walk into my room like who are you talking to and i was always hide, like i'm not talking to anyone what is that mean? therapeutic for you is that it is. is that some yeah it is yeah. calm you I talk down. to myself a lot because i literally just two days ago I, was, I sat in bed i was watching a movie i can't remember what i think it was breakthrough and then there was a scene i saw and then i paused because i always like to replay scenes by myself so i literally replayed that scene and within a minute i was crying my eyes out whoa so that's to me mm -hmm. that was i was just like okay cool cool you got it <laughs> you know like <laughs> acting is the yes. one that's like i'm mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. if i had the right opportunity or the right people or the right platform mm -hmm. i genuinely feel like in my heart it would take off mm -hmm. five give us give us your top five top classics five movies yes Oh my God, King Arthur! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, King Arthur. Uh, for a long all right. time to say that. Yeah. Okay. So King Arthur number one. King Arthur number one. Yes. Um, Titanic, of course. What? Yes. No Titanic, way. Titanic, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come King back. Arthur, Titanic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Uh, no. Patrick Swayze, the Patrick Swayze movie. Which one again? Ah, oh, the dancing one. <laughs> Girl, there's a lot of dancing movies. Patrick <laughs> Swayze is like the, the most popular movie. Wow. I can't remember. Anyway, mm -hmm. yes. um, Titanic, mm -hmm. um, um, 
So you King Arthur. Yes, King Arthur is one. Of course, Titanic, Titanic is two. Is two. Yes, number three is the Charlie's That's Angels. It. Okay, Charlie oh, Angels. Charlie's Angels. Because I've always the new like one. The new one. I don't. The new one. I haven't. We can't wait to see what it's going to what look going like, to like eventually. Cam, yes. Ca- uh, Cameron Diaz was me. In yeah, my mind, yeah. I was Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> like flying, that flying was over with the boots. I remember those days when the you girls were all in boots. And because she's so bubbly and funny and tall, yes. In my mind, automatically, I'm Cameron Diaz. Yeah. Charlie Angels. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, um, what's it called? Um, King Arthur, Titanic, mm-hmm. um, Charlie's Angels, Poetic Justice, mm-hmm. and um, I have a lot. I have a lot. The Notebook. Ooh. Okay. Mm. Yeah. That's McEwen's so favorite. It looks movie, like right you right. like more of drama films. I do. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm dramatic. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I'm like, wait, like, I'm dramatic. She um, is dr- she like, is I like dramatic. romantic comedy, yes. obviously, but mm-hmm. I'm a drama queen. Yeah, yeah. I think action films is what I can't watch mostly. I like, do but watch I love one horror or two. movies, though. Yeah, yeah, you love horror. I like yeah, horror. everyone knows. Like, I really love horror movies, but like my top top five movies that I would watch any yeah. given day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's okay. Now. Let me let me just say let me just say this. Um, apart from the fact that you're a very vocal person, we only find that <laughs> the, that expressive side of you on Snapchat. Uh huh. <laughs> you know, it doesn't meet us on Twitter. It doesn't really Twitter. Yeah, is you know you come sometimes you know, come like nawek. Yeah. You know, come come. <clears throat> sometimes go. I come and you know, spark electricity fat, fat, and leave. you know fat fat come fat you fat. You know, daddy go. should start receiving royalties from. Twitter, the way this boy just comes here and campaign that people should be on Twitter, on tw- right? <laughs> you know, you should start re- receiving commission. Hey, because because be- I hate my Twitter. Everybody that comes here, why are you not on Twitter? You don't see on Twitter. You don't, on Twitter. You don't need on Twitter. Like, oh. He's like, you should be on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really. No, but um, but but I the question I have in in terms of expressions, um, do you think, especially in Gambia, mm-hmm. in the circle of young people? We have a problem of class. Mm. I I mean, I, I, there, there's been a, there's been a, there's been a long discussion of tribalism here and there, and, and oh yeah, and I feel mm. the issue of tribalism comes to play because of the class differences that we have in the country. Like you mean upper class, lower yes, class, and middle class? That's right? a, okay. Yeah. Do you think that is one that that's also one issue why there cannot really be unity amongst young people in Gambia? Because I think if young people of the Gambia could unite, there will be there will be tremendous change. If we could unite and understand that everything in life is turn by turn, <laughs> turn by turn, and understand that we all have different journeys, mm-hmm. a lot would be easier, I believe, mm-hmm. because. Um, First, when you talk about class and mm-hmm. tribe and all of that, it genuinely, it definitely plays an, a clan, what clan you belong to, mm. you know. That is, is is such an archaic thing that people have been holding on to and it's been stopping a lot of things from marriage, businesses. Oh, yeah, you know, you're from this tribe and this clan. I don't think I want to mix with that. It's bad luck, according to, according to who? True. Is it in the Quran? Is it in the Bible? Like you know what I mean? You know, Bahut. What do you associate? Agni. You know, I think it's stuff like that that has really held a lot of people back from happy, happy situations, from business, money making situations, and stuff like that. So I think it is something that we really need to. And we keep saying, oh no, we've gone past that. We haven't. We haven't. We really haven't. It's still here and it's still happening, whether we know it or not. Because you know, we're like in a. We are in a society. But sometimes we're not really in a deep-rooted society to know True. what's really going on. But it is going on. And if we do come together, a lot will change. But we need to understand that it's not a competition. See, my only competition is me. True. Like I said, questioning mm-hmm. myself, am I doing okay? Do I need to do... More? That's me. That's These are the things I battle with. That's what, Like, when Danny's doing something great, fantastic. I'll support Danny. When Mariam is doing something great, I'll support him. And I'll be mm-hmm. happy. For, I'll be there for him. Because when it's my turn, they'll be there True. for me too. True. Like, if we have that mentality, not a lot of things will disturb us. Not a lot of things will hold us back. Mm-hmm. Instead, if we come together and work, a lot could be easier. Right. But in terms of... That, that 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 in terms of unity, um, there's also like I said, class, which equally uh, comes in the play of men, you know, gender equity, mm-hmm. gender balance, and that sort of thing. Um, in terms of men and women and society, where it places men and where it places women, um, what what exactly at this point is kind of your concern, especially in the activist work that you do? I think it's equal pay. 
Okay. And not viewing people in an equal, in the same light. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, take, for example, you and me. Mm -hmm. And I've said this before. I remember when we hosted the ST album launching at the stadium. Yes. Seven, was it seven? No, first Some, of, first first of, of first December. December. Right. Um, after that, Lamy left camera. Mm -hmm. He tweeted. Mm -hmm. He tweeted me and said, oh, congratulations on a successful show, Fanta. Like, I never thought you could handle a crowd like that. Yeah. And to him, it might have been a compliment or something he was just voicing out. To me, it was like, this is the problem. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, why was it like, oh, Danny, I never thought you could handle a crowd like mm -hmm. that. But it is already expected that as a guy, he could do that. Mm -hmm. While as, as a girl, oh, no, 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 I don't think Fanta can do that. Do, do, do mm -hmm. you see what I, I mean? I, I, I get, I get so it's point. stuff like mm -hmm. that. It's stuff like that, like people already view a situation like, oh no, I don't think Mariama can do this. You know what? Let's get Tijan to do it. Mm -hmm. Let's get this guy to do it. Mm -hmm. Let's get these guys. They can handle it more. They don't. It, we're already prejudged mm -hmm. even before an opportunity is given to us. Do you, True. Do you get I, what I, I mean? I, I, I get it. Exactly. So it's stuff like that that I really genuinely frustrates me. It's like we're all doing the same job. Mm -hmm. We're all literally doing the same job. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Each and every one of us brings a different flair to it. Mm -hmm. That's why when you do events and you co-host and mm -hmm. you have your co it's fantastic because you bring my flavor, Danny's flavor mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's explosive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you want, like I feel like it depends on the energy you want. Mm -hmm. If my type of energy is what you want, then hire me singularly. Mm -hmm. If Danny's type of energy, because different energies for different shows. True. Right. You know for a fact that you know what? This is the type of energy I want. Dan is already that person. I'll hire him. Mm -hmm. But let it not be on the basis of this is a guy. I think he can handle it. Yeah. So for me, that type of comment, it made me realize that a lot of people must be thinking like that or must have been thinking like that. Because mm -hmm. he did, you know, well done, a great show. I didn't think you could handle a crowd like that. And I was like, what? <laughs> Is that well, um, I know for sure, like gender equity is still a problem it in is a big country, mm -hmm. especially within workspaces, mm -hmm. and this involves all type of works. Yeah, like true, you said, true. women are underestimated for certain a type lot, of jobs. True, a lot. When you do it very yeah. well, you come at huh? Yeah, this like a big surprise. Yeah, yeah it's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like, yeah, like, like, what yeah. did you expect? <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. So uh, I think that's still a problem. And a big one though women like you and other women are still pushing to uh -huh. break that barrier uh -huh. but it's still very very hard especially it's over very here. hard it's thick People they're literally look at just you. now talking about it in hollywood now mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so you think africa here gambia when we would it ah. exactly <laughs> it's a global issue yeah, yeah. it's a global <laughs> issue but then uh teamwork is very important it in is. the type of work that you it do is, yeah and uh joining forces like danny was saying for mm -hmm. young people to come together and work together as a team uh -huh. is still a very big challenge in yeah. the gap here. What it do, is what do you think is one of the reasons why teamwork is difficult within young people complex hmm. you, i think you, complex you know, university, like you know, <laughs> no it's not even about that because to me listen university is very important True. education yeah. is important but True. sometimes university is not for everyone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is something i also say mm -hmm. it's not the talent you, me, and Mariama have, granted, university might just um, enhance, enhance it, but it's there. But education is everywhere. This is what I keep telling people. You, you know necessarily I mean? don't have, have to, to go, go to, to university to be to get educated. That. You could be educated at the theater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are some people that have never been to acting school and they're better actors yeah. than the ones that have been. True. Like, you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Their school was the theater stage. Their school was learning on the job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's different. Mm -hmm. But here in Gambia, though, I think the main issue is it's not even about university because, like me, I'm not. Hello, anti master degree. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's okay. Like, all True. kudos to you. True. That's yeah, not yeah, my yeah. journey. True. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm okay with that. But mm -hmm. that's the problem. How many people are okay with that? Mm. How many people are not looking at the ones that have been to university like, oh, that's my competition as a complex issue, yeah. as an issue of... And the ones that have been to university working with someone that's not been to university but have got all the experience and the knowledge and the skill and the talent mm -hmm. as like, no, I'm better than you because I've been to uni. Because no. I've got double masters and Like, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just that looking at each other like this is Danny's my competition no Danny's not my competition because if there's the, if there's a gig and I know that this is something Danny and I could do yeah. mm -hmm. I'd be like no you know what True. how about we get Danny on mm -hmm. that's how we help each other mm -hmm. like you get what mm -hmm. I mean how about I think Mariama is best for this This I think this is more Mariama's True. thing than it's my thing mm -hmm. like I'm okay with that I'm okay with saying you know what I think this type of job Mariama would be better for this yeah. than me 
Mm-hmm. Now, but most we should be able, we should be okay, we should be okay, to recommend and be able to and recommend be honest that. to yourself and be honest. Yeah. I know that this is not for me. True. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, in terms of validation as well, um, I know most, especially women, mm-hmm. uh, always want to seek validation. validation from their friends or, but mainly it's people don't really seek for physical validation. It's mm-hmm. more of a of a virtual validation. Now, mm-hmm. what, what's your take on that? Mm-hmm. Um, I think this is how I think. Um, this is a big problem, by the way. Yeah. And it's not even about from what colleagues. For in re- even in simple relationships, women wait for the validation from their husbands, their partners, so much that it weighs them down. Like if you're if you're sure about something and your partner's like, I don't think this is for you. Instantly they they've let it go. Yeah. I think the only person you should seek validation from is yourself. Because at the end of the day, the choices you make in your life, you're going to live with them. Mm -hmm. Not anyone. Not your boss, not your best friend, not your boyfriend, not your husband, not your wife, not your son, not your... You. Mm -hmm. So if you're making a choice to say, oh, you know, I want to look cool in the eyes of Danny. Hello. Danny's not making any decisions to look cool in your eyes. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So I think that is an internal battle as well Mm -hmm. that a lot of people fight. And a lot of people are trying to overcome and know that I'm enough. Mm-hmm. And my only, my only, the only person I should seek validation from is me. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. In terms of um, culture, tradition, do you feel you're losing your culture? Like you, you're losing, um, yes, your cultural self. For me? I mean, yes. Do no. you, or do you feel that, I mean, in, in terms of traditions and norms and values and some of the things that we need to teach our children, because of the fact that they're not really written, it's mostly oral, mm-hmm. they are some way, somehow diluted now. Mm. And do you think with time... We, we really would not have much to give the children because of that lack of database as to where we can really get our history as where our, you know, what, where our roots are really from. That, that I think, uh, in as much as it is based on the storytellers mm-hmm. and the historians like Hasum Sise, yeah. he's who, who writes a lot about where we are all from in some way. Mm-hmm. I think it also comes down to the family tree. Like I know that my father's great, great grandfather came from Mali. I know that. Mm-hmm. I know that in some way they're related to Sunjata Keta. Nice. Because I, I read that. Okay. And he explained it. Mm-hmm. And my dad explained this history to me. This is over 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Word for word. And the way he was explaining it, it was verbatim as if he was the one that wrote it. Because I was in school and my teacher was explaining history to me. And I went back home and I asked him, I was like, Papa, what is this and that? And he explained the same story. It's like what my teacher said and what he said. He was there. Mm. Do, you, do you know what I mean? True. And that has stuck with me. It's not gone anywhere. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I'm losing or we're losing. I think if you really know who you are and where you're from, you will never lose that. Mm-hmm. I think that is written. That mm-hmm. is inside of you. And if you're a person with morals, then you will always pass that down to your children. Mm-hmm. I know I will. Because <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people look at me, oh, you're yeah. so modern, you're mm-hmm. so this, you're so that. But a lot of people also mm-hmm. tell me you're the right balance between modern and African. Mm-hmm. Nice. Which is important. I mean, Which I think knowing important. your roots and going with your roots is very important. Mm-hmm. And this is mm-hmm. why some people travel and they lose it all. Exactly. You know, they lose exactly. that exactly. sense of guidance. Exactly. Like, I know there are certain cultures that we're trying to let go. And mm-hmm. those are cultural practices that really are harmful to us. Yes. Yes. That are not bringing progress or growth to us. Yes. Mm-hmm. Those are not cultural <laughs> stuff that we should be stuck with yes. forever, you yes. know. Yes. But aside from that, we have a beautiful culture. We have True. beautiful norms and values. We True. do. True. True. And that True. is why we are very different as Africans. Mm-hmm. And we stand out everywhere we, we go, go. around the globe. That is true. You know. But um, I know you're very concerned about gender issues and w- women-related issues. Lately, we've seen a lot of women who are battling with uh, violence. True. Who are either <laughs> physical uh, or violent. The way violence. her face just, just like... Yes. <laughs> Either physical yeah. or, vi- of, or viral. Yeah. And mm-hmm. this has been an ongoing thing. Other women True. have been silent about it for the longest time. And mm-hmm. it takes them a lot to really mm-hmm. speak out about mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we as women, we are surrounded with a lot of other women yep. who need that help and that support mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, what would you say to women who are bustling with such an issues like this and they're still quiet about it? You know, with the culture of silence, like let's break that. Mm. Let's break that sutra curse. Because I feel like sutra, like when people say this sutra key, sutra is a curse. 
because they keep telling you sutra saji ke sutra sase wa yange de true yep because every now and then mulado the la saga sakana me domi sado mi yange ma and that is one thing that is very bad mm-hmm. because if a child grows up in an environment where the woman is not strong enough to fight back i'm not saying physically fight back but leave mm-hmm. let's say leave you know that you know what there's no salvation here once he starts this he's going to continue mm-hmm. and you leave mm-hmm. and your child sees that and they go they already know in the back of their mind that you know what this is wrong yeah. and if anyone tries this the best thing to do is to leave them report them and leave mm-hmm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. um now i've never seen my mom and dad argue mm-hmm. ever mm-hmm. my mom and dad were married for over 30 years until he passed mm-hmm. but i've never seen them argue not once i'm not saying they didn't argue they argued mm-hmm. i know they did mm-hmm. Because my mom's very strong-willed, and my dad was, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But we never witnessed it, and I know for a fact that it never got physical, or even to a point of verbal abuse. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So now, when people look at me like, "Oh, you're so strong, you're so this," how do you? It's because I didn't see that. Mm-hmm. I grew up under the wing of a really strong woman, who I saw fight for her children, fight for her marriage, mm-hmm. fight for different things. So. These things affect your children. They affect the children. So speak up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If your husband's hitting you, get out. Mm-hmm. Get out. And what I've realized is you can't help someone unless they're ready to be helped. Yep. Because I've had migraines over other people's situations when I've tried to literally force them out. Mm-hmm. And this is even family. Like I don't really mingle with that person anymore mm-hmm. because I've told the wife to leave several times. And they have four kids, but you can't be in a situation where you're you're safe for six months or a year, and the second year you, there's an incident yeah. and he smacks you. How how are you thriving in that marriage? Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. So this should, this is something that is it's a sticky situation. And as we've all witnessed, a situation that unfolded with some pe- very very popular people yeah. in the true, country, true. and we've seen how women rallied behind this person. But at the same time. Mm-hmm. Until and unless you're ready to leave, no one can force you. Nobody. Now, and that's that's also a, a common stuff with with women who who face such gender issues. Mm-hmm. I mean, such violence. Violence. Yeah. You know, they they tend to stay more. Exactly. Because of no, the pressure. Because I, I of what I everybody really is think saying. I don't really think it's a pressure because um, I live in Kololi, and Kololi yeah. is highly is, is highly resi- it, residented by um, by Liberians and Sierra mm-hmm. Leoneans mm-hmm. and Guineans and whatnot. But these people come from mm-hmm. cultures that mm-hmm. I, I feel kind of makes it normal. Um, they, and and they feel that, that as a man, uh, if, no, if, if your man does not beat you, mm-hmm. he doesn't love you. Some I mean, say that, you I'm know. Tell, no, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, some Sierra Leonean girl that's dating one of our neighbors there, this guy, they spend the whole night smacking each other. <laughs> and, to the, and, and for you, you wake up in the morning, it's love. That is not love. I'm telling no, toxic. but I'm telling you, and and she would tell her girlfriends like, if it, if not beats me, if you not beats me, in, in, you know, like you know, like me. Mm. So yeah. it it has to be like for them. So that's part of the culture. It has to be like like be a woman. You have to smite her. The, the funny, the funniest thing is when I hear people say, "Oh, if you walk out of him, the next man could be worse. It could be the same." L- you know what? <laughs> that is not true <laughs> at all. That is not true. At all. You know. At all. Of course, you're gonna come across few bad ones here and there. Even come across the worst person. But yep. that doesn't mean that every man. It's like that. If one man starts to hit you, that means the rest of the other men will hit you. True. No. No. True. No. no. That's not. Like true. this is a situation. You see, when the Rihanna and Chris Brown situation broke down in uh broke in 2009. And um, after a while, she went back to him and everyone was outraged. Like, why is she going back? And then for only for us to find out that when Rihanna was a child, her father used to hit her mom. Mm -hmm. And she saw that because Mm -hmm. her mom stayed. She didn't leave. So she thought in her mind, Mm -hmm. she felt sorry for him and stayed. Mm -hmm. That's why she felt sorry for Chris Brown and stayed. Mm -hmm. So these things are not just you. They affect your children. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It had to take strength from her to break that, to leave. Yeah, it's always hard to leave. You can't so. just jump and leave. You know, it's gonna before you leave, it's going to be really hard. Mm-hmm. And of course, 
until you get really really pushed to the wall mm-hmm. before you can really yeah. step out of it and, and unfortunately some, some women are not fortunate enough to live with their lives yeah. you know mm-hmm. yes so yes some, some women really die so, they die so yeah they actually die. now yeah. in terms of in terms of fantasy say um before we actually begin to slide out like i told you before you sit here you even we wouldn't know i mean time we don't pass finish um what what what, what makes fantasy say happy or what can make <laughs> fantasy say happy i mean right now like this ginger the swagger someone's mm. like oh boy i want to make fantasy say happy be it a man woman everyone like you just want to make fanta happy what would they have know. to do I, I, I'm a simple person, you know. I like mm-hmm. food. <laughs> <laughs> I like food, good company. Yes. Uh, obviously, money making avenues because I like money too. True. Mm-hmm. Money I make. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, like it's just, it's just. I'm, I'm very simple. Let me just have a good time. I'm a very positive person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like to be around positive vibes. Mm-hmm. Like ev- everyone that knows me knows. Whenever I step into a room, it's a it's lit. It's it's a whole vibe, yeah. you know, because yeah. I'm I'm that type. I just mm-hmm. want to be around positivity and positive vibes. Just be happy, enjoy myself, make sure everyone's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I just I, I I remember this question was asked to both of us now. It's like, oh yeah, so what is stopping you from being in a relationship like this now? Uh, it was just ringing in my head. I was like, I was like, yeah. So I'm now, to, like ask. like Vision twenty twenty. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy said this place will be like Singapore. That's and 2020 is coming. We have not seen the Singapore or Dubai. Instead, we've seen uh, the getting flooded. It's, get, it's even degraded. Yep. Uh, it has degraded for the past, um, from the past uh, three years mm-hmm. to this point. So right now, like this, are we looking at a surprise, like the way that the constant <laughs> surprised the internet as well? That was a big surprise. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's all in the hands of God, really. Mm. Okay. Because, um, you know, uh, I remember when we went to the Ngono show with Yes, our guy. Our guy. Mm-hmm. She re- she made a comment and said, "Oh, people assume or are saying that you wouldn't get married if the man didn't have money." <laughs> yeah, you you want to get married to a rich man? No, I want to be a rich man myself. True. <laughs> like I want to be I want to be a successful. Yeah. You know that's that's me. That's what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, about getting involved, getting hitched, getting married. I don't know. First of all, let me find a good man, or let the good man find me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Because it's really hard. People think it's like. I'm a relationship kind of girl. I could stay for three years and not date anyone because I have I don't feel like we've connected enough. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm not the type that would date somebody today and we're Tomorrow. done six months <laughs> down the line. <laughs> I found someone else. Yeah. I'm not yes. that like some and mashallah, some people are like that and yeah. they do find people like that and they get married. I'm not, unfortunately, for me. Okay. I, it takes time and I need to be have have some sort of friendship with you before any like it's just a lot of work. Now, what would you so say to people work. that are, I mean, that are, that have relationship out there um, in terms of, I mean, I know everyone has the right to really do what they want to do mm-hmm. with their relationship, but is that really advisable? I um, mean, the way, like I say, oh yeah, you need to show your man or you need to show your your, your woman, I you know, know, just I, I, flaunt I, I, them out love. there. You know, it's like, yeah, hashtag black <laughs> love kind of thing, you know? I've had quite a few relationships. Well, mm-hmm. not quite a few, just a few. Um, and they've never been public, but that's just, just me. That is me. That's how I am. But does the internet affect relationships? A little bit. It does. Okay. Cause you put out there, you can't control it. Mm-hmm. And I realized one thing about Gambia generally around the world, but it's, it's toxic in this country. The moment they know who you're with, mm-hmm. that person becomes a target, especially if you're a public figure. Mm-hmm. Mariama now mm-hmm. might be dating a guy. Let's say. Listen, this is what I realized. You could pick a guy off the street, mm-hmm. clean him up, dress him nice, go out with him a few times, post a few pictures, and his inbox will be full. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's very bad. His inbox will be full because people think, oh, he's the one that makes you look the way mm-hmm. you look. No, honey. I've been like this since I was a teenager. Nice and I've been taking care of myself like so that. So she's taking care of herself. So that's, to me, it's like, yeah. to each their own. Whatever floats your boat, do it. Mm-hmm. But I personally would advise you not to be out there like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying don't post who you're with. If you want, post them every mm-hmm. now and again. Mm-hmm. But let it not be the focus of your life mm-hmm. or your social media that every two, three pictures is you and that person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They become... I've realized that if you're not really strong-willed, relationships become your life. Mm-hmm. 
which is instead bad. of actually having a life. having a life outside True. of a relationship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Talking about that, you have a career path. You're a working class lady, and we have a lot of women out there now who mm-hmm. are just waiting for that Superman Ideal. partner mm-hmm. who's going to be their sole provider. Mm-hmm. You know, they depend on this person hundred yeah. percent for everything instead of just building themselves. themselves mm-hmm. Yeah, which is very important for mm-hmm. women. You know, mm-hmm. I mean. It's okay if your partner is going to give you some support. It's nice. Yeah, That's it's, sweet. It's, Listen, it's sweet. Yeah. I want somebody to support me with doilers. Oh, everybody wants that. But I want to be able to that. do that. True, true. To you do know. that for him as yeah. well. Yeah, so mm. what, what's yeah. your advice to young girls who are out there just depending on other Waiting people? Waiting for Mr. Right. Yeah. It's not even Mr. Right. Waiting for Mr. Cash. <laughs> it's not Mr. Right. Um, like, I don't judge them, mm. but I don't... They, like, there's a certain respect that I don't have for them. Mm-hmm. Because you... You see 19 year old girls who literally graduated a year ago or two mm-hmm. and their sole focus is every weekend they're dressed up in mm-hmm. new outfits, new hair, new shoes, new bag. Mm-hmm. Obviously it's from Mr. X that gave it to them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that is, that they're cool with that. I'm living my best life. This one, whatever I want, this one is doing it for me. No, honey, you're destroying yourself. Mm-hmm. Cause how long can you live that for? Mm-hmm. Maximum two, three years. Cause every two, three years, there's a prettier girl yeah. that's, that just turned 19. Mm-hmm. True. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So for me, the last time my mother ever did anything for me, I was 17 or 18. Mm-hmm. That's almost 10 years now. Mm-hmm. And I like it. Now, a, a lot of people feel like it's okay to, do you do, you know, the guy has to be this way, the guy has to be this way. Mm-hmm. Fine. Mm-hmm. I want a man that's successful, that's ambitious, mm-hmm. but I want to be that too. True. I want to be able to say, you know, my husband went out today, bought me a nice Fendi bag. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow I could go out and buy him a Hublot because I have that money. Mm-hmm. Like you get what I mean? True. Like True. I want it to be that. Mm-hmm. You know? Like sometimes you take the chance to be like, you know, I'm flying you out for the weekend. Nice. And sometimes I could do a getaway. Maybe I'm not even up to your level of fin- being financially secure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, you know what? This weekend, that's what I can afford. We're going here. Mm-hmm. It's that. That is what counts. A man likes a woman that is trying. Mm. And a woman, sh- a right woman should like a man that can provide, but she can also do the same. Right. True. Ah, beautiful. As we're getting to slide mm-hmm. out right now, Fantasy is actually just gisting us. It's 2019, oh, and pretty much it's almost done. Um, are we? Does Does Fanta have? I mean, is there any project that you're currently working on, and that probably you want to gist us about, or maybe just 2020? You probably might be going for Big Big Brother Nigel. I'm or sorry. Something. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I, again, I'm not judging. <laughs> I would never go for a show like that. <laughs> That's but, like yes. having your life. You know that one of the ladies flew from England to go yes, and do that and yes, she's a cop and yes. I think she lost she, her job because yeah, of that. Yeah. Like I think people, I don't know anyway, I've never been on any of these platforms mm-hmm. so I, I wouldn't really know. I saw some images from that. It's, yes. That's it's the quite, point. It's, it's, it's quite, quite explicit. explicit that. It's quite, yeah. quite explicit. My, hello, first of all, uncle, it's hard for me but to even connect like with the that guy. From the beginning. That's my point. Now yeah. they're just making it soft porn on television. Yeah. And that's disgusting. No offense. Like that's just disgusting. It's like how can you be Nah, my G, that's it, not, It's crazy. I don't think I'd ever go for that. <laughs> <laughs> ever. Okay, okay. I don't think so. But yes, thank you so much for coming on the show. I mean, it's been amazing. I mean, it's, it's been quite short. But yes. Hello. Um, what would you what, what would you say to to Gambians? Like if you if you had if you had just had if you had just a chance to stand right now and talk to Gambians, what would you tell them? Mind your business. <laughs> Mind the business that pays you. <laughs> <laughs> Mind your business. Mind, mind your business. business. Like, it's not fun to like it. It's not fun to like it. I'm not say it like it is. Like, mind your business. Mind the business that pays you. When do you have to say the Gambia? I just want to put up it. Mind your business. Of course, of course, comes in a message, but it all starts with minding your business. Yes. Like, mind your business. Mind the business that pays you. Focus yeah. on yourself because if you focus on yourself, you can achieve a whole lot. True. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's what I mean when I say mind your business if you're minding your business and you're in your lane Mm -hmm. and an opportunity finds you there you're already in the mindset of knowing that this is the goal this is what I'm going for Mm -hmm. but if you're in everybody's business and an opportunity finds you (laughs) you're not your head is not (laughs) your your mind will be (laughs) your mind will be minding other people how are you gonna how are you gonna take advantage of that opportunity you know you know Liam always laughs at me because you know me. That is. Oh, you gotta laugh at me. I'm telling you. That's just the way it is. Just uncle. Mind your business, uncle. Auntie, focus on your yes, business. Yes. Live your life because mm-hmm. I like to mind my business. You'll never catch me in someone else's business because right. that's not my problem. I know. Yeah. I'm in my business, handling my business, looking for money. Yes. Hello. 
<laughs> Listen, all of you listeners out there and viewers, if you know what opportunities that we can make money from, <laughs> he don't ask her. My yeah. Instagram yeah. is yeah. perfect crush. It's open. You can message me yes. on Facebook, Fanta Jamba Cisse. Mm-hmm. Twitter, perfect crush. Let's make money. Let's just make money. Let's make that money, though. I'm all about money. money. Okay. But thank you we'll so, you much, so much for being here, Fanta. It was great just hearing the thank other you. side of your story that provided thank so you. many people out there haven't heard of. Thank you. You're an amazing young woman, thank and you. I have so much respect for you. Me too. We all do that. You are a killer. Like you, you, I've seen you like not give up on yourself, not give up on what true, you like. I've true. been watching from a distance, but sometimes you know you can't jump into people. people you need yeah. to allow people to grow. Yes. Don't try to be other people's you savior. Save, yeah. You, you need don't to let have them make to mistakes. do that. And that's people one thing about you. People need to make you, mistakes. Like, yeah. People need to break down. People need to feel horrible. And you've seen me at those. Go. I uh-huh. have. And I, I, I just love how you, you, you picked yourself up, yeah. both you and Danny. Like yeah. I keep saying, I'm like, just the godmother, just watch him there, <laughs> just is. praying. Like, she's the smallest one, but just she's praying well, no, well no, just praying well. Yeah. Because Uncle Karage is next. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Danny, l- allow me to learn. What That's how I was about because I was enjoying it. Allow. <laughs> Go on, Maria. I like what Even you Uncle Kara is enjoying it. He's enjoying it. <laughs> 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 He's watching his children. He's just watching his well, like children he... just do whatever. Well, like, <laughs> mind your business. <laughs> well, like, mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much all the wonderful listeners this was the chill zone next we have Mr. Mori Karage mm-hmm. <laughs> bye thank you guys so much I really appreciate being here You're and welcome. of course we've um, we've all come at different points in our lives but we're all together in the same yep. thing and True. we've seen how we cheer each other on mm-hmm. and how we're all killing it and I know for a fact that there'll be a time and a day where we'll sit at a place that we've only yes. dreamed of Shala. to discuss yeah. these mm-hmm. things and I cannot wait for that time our children playing and our, we sit you know there like saying, telling ah. them like you don't no, no, when we used to be there, <laughs> you know, and then we flying from different yes. places on an island, making on summer really. holiday, and doing things yeah, and we Nuno really appreciate. Yeah, and Nuno will be on the side taking you know. videos. You know, that one thing, one thing, having her own company. Yeah, you know? yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, only God yeah. knows what's in store for us, and I know it's amazing yeah. things, and mm-hmm. I cannot wait for us all to discover it together yes. grow Shana. together and be in greater positions and mm-hmm. reflect on these days as the beginning right. of our greatness so thank you guys for having me I appreciate it you're welcome thank though. you're welcome though <laughs> <laughs>